Hello everyone, this is Marie and I'm doing this video to give you all some feedback on your blog. Before we get started looking at each student's blog, um, I just wanted to point out a couple things because from reading your blog it seems as though some of you may be lost or confused about where to get the instructions so I just wanted to point out a couple things that are important when you're doing the blog assignment. Um, the first is in the course when you look at the course information documents over here underneath evaluation is where you can find some more information about the blogging assignment. So if you scroll down um, you have some instructions here and then this link brings you to the blog rubric so you should definitely look at the rubric because this will help you understand how to self-assess um, your blog and also give you a little bit more information about what you should be putting in into your blog posts. So that's the, the blog rubric. And if we go back to the home page of the course and scroll down to the end of module one, here under reflection, there is also more links for your information about how to set the blog up. So if you go under this link, how to make posts and pages in your blog, you'll get some video instructions on doing those tasks. This link, I believe, um, has videos on how to set up the blog role. So hopefully that can give you a little bit more information if you have questions on any of the feedback that I'm giving you. You can look in these places first to see if that can help you um, improve your blogs at all. So now I think we'll start looking at Elena's blog. And Elena, I love the simple clean look to your blog. Um, I really like the sidebar here. Um, you know, you have comments and then the blog role and a category section. Um, I like your title, but I think maybe you might want to change it to Elena's thoughts, reflections, and ponderings. That might make it a little bit more personal to you. Um, also, the professor usually doesn't like ETAP 640 in the title. It may be okay in this, the, the subtitle, but if you would like to use this blog as you continue down your journey with online learning, um, you might want to take that out in the future and that's something that you can customize um, down the road. Um, it looks like you, you did remove many of the default um, content that was in there. Although, uh, looks like up here your sample page. Um, the sample page should either be removed or it should be changed into an about page where you tell your reader a little bit more about who you are. Um, and this also gives your readers perspective about yourself, what experience you bring to your writing. And remember, people outside of the class may also be reading your blog. So if you have an about page that talks about who you are, that can really help you um, build your audience. Uh, looks like your blog role here needs a little work. You have Andrea listed twice. Um, and it looks like there may be some new students that you need to add. So if you check um, the blog roll against the ETAP 40 blog. I believe Alex has all the students listed on hers, so if you can check that and um, update your blog roll here, that would be great. You also need to set up categories for your posts. So for each module, you should have a category, and then when you post a blog, for that module associate the the post to the category. So for instance, you'll have you should have module 1 and there should be two posts within module 1. And that um, 
helps other students and the professor to find your posts associated to each module so that they can be easily graded or you know reviewed um, also I would say think about using tags uh, I found tags really useful last summer when I was doing um, my blogging for the course and the reason was because I was using the categories to organize my post by module but I also found that there were themes within my blog posts so I could use the tags to um, organize them by subject for example I might talk about interaction a lot or teaching presence or reflection and then by using the tags I could organize it by subject let's see here um, I see that you have the references but um, I don't see a self-assessment so remember to self-assess every post um, I'm only seeing I'm only seeing one post for module one and there should be two also remember to um, set your blog up to post comments automatically or remember to review and release the comments as you receive them. I also like your post title here um, and that you've included some links and references in your post. Remember that these references need to be shared and bookmarked and shared in Digo um, and also for just a reminder you're probably going to want to install the Digo toolbar if you haven't already that way you can see any comments or highlights that the professor or your classmates leave for you um, on your blog and also I find that it's much easier to bookmark um, using the toolbar um, overall, Elena looks like a good start. Just um, hopefully you can take the feedback I gave you and make some improvements and keep on reflecting on your learning. Okay, next we're going to go to Alicia. Um, Alicia, I love this beautiful picture here. And you, I like that your post titles are unique and creative. Um, I like your blog title, but you need to personalize the subtitle here. Um, also, I'm seeing the sample page. The sample page should be removed or probably changed into an about page where you give uh, your audience a little bit of information about you. Um, let's see. So we go down, looks like you have the sidebar set up. I'm not sure if you want to keep this meta block or take that out. Your blog roll looks good, but I would just make sure to compare it against the class blog roll on the ETAP 640 blog to make sure that you have everyone and that you delete anyone who's no longer taking the class. Um, nice use of categories here. I see you have your post categorized. Um, you have self-assessments for each post. That looks nice. Uh, I see this post was submitted June 12th, so just keep in mind the due dates for each assignment. Make sure you um, bookmark and share all the resources you're using in your blog as well and it looks like a pretty good job here. Okay next we have Andrea's blog. Andrea I love your title and your subtitle and I also really like that you have a picture right on the front page of your blog. Um, everything on the side here seems to be organized very nicely. 
Um, I like that the categories in the, the blog roll are towards the top. Um, I read through your posts and it seems as though you have a really nice voice, so I enjoy your reflections. Um, I think you removed most of the default information, but you again, you might want to think about removing the meta block over here and I guess you did remove all of the default information, so that's good. Um, I think you know your title and subtitle and you have a picture so your blog is personalized but you might still want to add an about page here which can give your audience a better idea of who you are and what perspective you bring to your writing um, check your blog role to see um, if any additional students have been added and some students m may have also dropped the class so you want to update the blog roll and looks like you have your category set up correctly you have module 2 and you have this one set up for module 1 so that looks good Also, I see that you're using some tags here, so that's really cool. You might want to um, see if this theme has a tag cloud that you can enable on the side. That way you can easily click on a specific topic um, and pull up the posts related to that topic. Uh, again, thank you for being diligent with your self-assessment. Make sure that your blog is set to release any comments or that you're reviewing them often. This encourages discourse around what you're writing. And remember to bookmark and share any resources to the ETAP 640 group Indigo. Okay, next up I think we have Ar Arnaldo. Okay. Um, hi Arnaldo, for some reason um, I seem to be having some problems getting to your blog. Every time I click on the link it asks me to log in even though I'm already logged in. So maybe you want to take a look in that and see if it could just be my computer but maybe just take a, um, take a look at the settings and see if there's anything strange going on there. Um, I think you chose an interesting theme. I like it, but it's it's looking a little strange on my computer. As you can see, the title's overlapping with this picture element here, and I have a weird block here. And it looks like maybe there's a search there, but I, it's a little bit difficult to see. So maybe think about changing themes or see, again, see if there's any settings that are set incorrectly here. Um, I like the creative titles you chose, but again they seem to be difficult to read with the theme that you chose. Um, I think you removed all of the default information except for the sample page, which should be personalized into an about page where you can tell the readers about yourself. Um, <clears throat> Let's scroll down and look here. So you have recent posts and comments. You have archives. Okay, so you need to work on... Oh, okay, so I thought this was the blog roll, but it looks like it's down here. So you got a good start on the blog roll. Um, just remember to add any students who may have come into the class late and remove anyone who may have dropped the class. 